Hey boo, what's up? Today, we're gonna make the most amazing, delicious smoothie bowl of your life, okay? First of all, hi, good morning. Uh, I wanted to say that I'm really proud of myself today because today, I waited until after my workout to make this. So, I work out with my Fruity Cuties Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time live on Zoom. If you'd like to join me, click the link below, misfitmondays.com. All right. You get those workouts uh, included in your membership. Also a live Monday night Q&A where you can ask me anything. You can ask the group anything. There's people in my community. I have a community of over 500 people. There's people that have been raw longer than me. Somebody's been raw for 16 years. People that know way more than me. And um, it's just an amazing, magical place to be. So if you're looking for more raw, fruity cuties in your life, then definitely check out MisfitMondays.com. So in the mornings, I go to yoga at eight, right? I come home and I'm really hungry. So I usually eat a lot. And today I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna have, I had two or three oranges. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to make my smoothie bowl after my workout and I'm so proud of myself. So before this, I've had, I think this is about 52 ounces of water. You already know I did it with passion fruit water. So overnight I just soaked passion fruit seeds in the water and then I strain it and then I drink it and it's so freaking good. And now I'm gonna make my smoothie bowl. So let's make it together. And look, guys, I almost made it. So this morning, I ripped open this bag and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm making this now. But I knew that if I had a smoothie bowl at you know, 10, 11 o'clock, I was not gonna have a good workout because I'm doing a lot of cardio in my workouts. And it's just like, I like to work out on a relatively empty stomach, okay? Personally. So I'm putting the whole bag. So that's 10 ounces, I guess. Okay, so all these mixed berries. And then here's the secret, okay? Here is the secret. And I was thinking about doing a course on this, but fuck it, it's just a YouTube video. You wanna use super ripe, delicious bananas. Okay, I have some ripening here. And you want them to be fresh. Okay, not frozen. I do recommend you get super delicious bananas because the more delicious the bananas are, obviously the more delicious your smoothie bowl is gonna be. You know, this is my brand. I fucking love this brand. If you can get this brand, boo. Ooh, let them ripen until they peel silently. And then I'm gonna put about, I don't know, maybe six bananas in there. Yeah, let's do six. So we got four, two more. And here's the secret, you ready? No water. Because the bananas are fresh, you do not need any water. Unless you're doing a smoothie, even though even then, I wouldn't use water. I would use coconut water or sugarcane juice or orange juice or apple juice. If you put water into your smoothies or your smoothie bowls, just a heads up, it's gonna be watery. Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? I kinda wanna put a few of these seeds in there. What do you guys think, should I? Yeah, let me just put a few. Let's see how it tastes. All right, just a few. Okay. Um, also, for some reason, I have been really, really liking putting some ashwagandha. I used to do baobab. Now this week, I'm just experimenting, see if it's helping me sleep better. I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of ashwagandha into my smoothie bowl. It doesn't taste like anything, but David Goggins um, recommends it, so listen. If David Goggins takes ashwagandha, then I'm gonna take it. He said it's really good. It's helped him a lot with his sleep, his nervous system. And um, sorry, guys, I'm just looking for the lid. All right, wait till you see how, it's so freaking good. Now, if your bananas are not really, really, really ripe, it's not gonna taste that good. If your berries don't taste good, then maybe put in some dates. Um, but this is all you need. Fresh bananas, frozen fruit. You can use just, I did yesterday, I did strawberries only. Or you can do mixed berries, mangoes. Um, by the way, I want to show you real quick the person I'm living with. Okay, my best friend, I always talk about her, right? She set up this table in the kitchen now. I've got my Berkey on there. Um, you got her um, her equipment, you know, the cooked food equipment, right? And I come in the kitchen this morning. It's a brand new table. And look what she writes. 
this is always suction. Don't even think about it. Because I told her, I mean, I asked, I was like, hey, can I put fruit on this table? She said, don't even think about it. You know what I do? I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, how dare you, how dare. Okay, so anyway, that's who I'm living with. Just so you guys know how hard it is for me to be a raw vegan in this house. No, just kidding. It's not hard, but just want to show you guys that. Okay, here we go. Got to push it down, boo. Probably better idea to put the bananas on the bottom, but I thought it was fun though. That's okay. Don't blend it too much. Don't blend it too much. Don't blend it too little. It's got to be just right, like Goldilocks, okay? No more than a minute. That's important. Look at this smoothie bowl. And let me tell you right now, it is decadent. It is so freaking good. Hold on, I got to get a spatula. And I'm going to top it with some fresh bananas. Also, some coconut shreds. I'm going to show you the ones I'm using. They're from Sprouts which we don't have in New York. So I'm really happy that I finally have access to a Sprouts. I like Trader Joe's, but unfortunately it's like over an hour from where I live. So I don't get to Trader Joe's too much, but I really do. I used to shop at Trader Joe's when I lived in New York. We had a nice one on 23rd and 6th. Any New Yorkers out there? 23rd and 6th, I used to shop there a lot. But if, listen, if you're in New York, you gotta go to Chinatown. I mean, that's the way, that's the place to get the fruit, okay? Best fruit in the world. Mm. Oh my God. It's so, ugh, you don't even know. It's so freaking good. I'm gonna top it with some fresh bananas. Okay, remember, these guys, they gotta peel silently. Okay, so they're finally ripe. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, they're so good. And here are the coconut shreds that I like. So let me just do that now while I have you guys here. Thank you very much to my beautiful friend, Stephanie, who sent me these bowls, these coconut bowls, which are so beautiful. And they keep the smoothie bowl cold. And thank you very much to everyone that is here with me today that is doing their best, that is using what they have and doing what they can in this crazy world. And I just wanted to also say that I'm really excited to meet everyone at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. And if you would like to volunteer, three people just canceled. So I do happen to have three spots left. If you want, send me an email, Jeanette at, I have two ends in my name, Jeanette at the Woodstock Fruit Festival .org. I'll send you the application. And you can come to the Woodstock Fruit Festival for free. For free, my boo. Oh, there's a spoon that comes with this coconut bowl too. I never use it. Where's that spoon? Okay, I don't know, I never use it. But yeah, you can come to Woodstock Fruit Festival, which is happening in two weeks. And of course, a normal person might be freaking out that like now like three people just canceled and people will cancel until the night before. Like, I totally understand that. The thing is, is that it's not my first rodeo, so I'm not freaking out because everything always is working out for me. Um, and this is the sixth year, I think, that I am doing the festival, so it's not a big deal at all. I've been um, working at the fruit festival. I started in 2017, okay? 2017, I was a volunteer. 2018, they asked me to be a manager. 2019, 2020, 2022... 2023. Oh, this is my sixth year. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, this is my sixth year because we didn't have it for two years because last year I couldn't find a venue. And then in 2020, we didn't have it because of COVID, but I was supposed to be in charge of it. So I did all the work. So technically this is my seventh. 
festival because I did all the work and got all the volunteers, but unfortunately we had to cancel in 2020. Anyway, long story short, if you'd like to volunteer, let me know. Email me, Jeanette at the Woodstock Fruit Festival dot org. And here is my breakfast. Oh, it's so freaking good. Love you guys so much. I'm going to take a photo. I don't want to mess it up first. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.